Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the presentation findcache.exe is experiencing high CPU and memory usage on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu and type in services best match, you come back with services, go ahead and open that up. And you want to go ahead and locate the Windows Presentation Foundation font cache service. So go ahead and actually I'm going to make that a little more narrow. And I'm going to go down to again the Windows Presentation. So if you see that in here, in your case you would see it. So again it would say Windows Presentation Foundation font cache and I don't have one in my case. I don't have the service, but you would double click on it and you would stop the service status and you would set the startup type to disabled. And then you would select apply and okay. Again, if you had it in the list, in which case that's the only reason you'd be on this tutorial is if you're having that particular issue. So you would have it. So again, it would say Windows Presentation Foundation Font Cache, C-A-C-H-E. It's not spelled C-A-S-H, by the way. But anyway, once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. You want to open up the search menu, and you want to type in control panel. Best match, go back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Select the view by up in the top right. Make sure it's at the category view, and then select underneath programs, uninstall program. Where it says Microsoft Visual C++, you want to select the one that's applicable for your device. So if you're on a 64-bit Windows 11, which everyone is on Windows 11, go ahead and select that. And then select the change button, select the repair button here, and if you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And it will say that you must restart the computer before you can use the software. You know, while we're in here, I would suggest doing both of them, so you might as well if you have more than one. So go ahead and change that one and then select repair, select yes. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. And then I would suggest restarting your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully I presented a few different methods on resolving that presentation font cache, which was consuming a lot of resources on your computer. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.